everyone welcome to the next session of answers workbench tutorials in this session we are solving 1d beam analysis we have already solved for 3d beam analysis we will start with the first type of analysis that is simply supported beam with udm i'll go to static structural and double click on it i'll rename the file as simply supported beam with udl Next, I'll go to Geometry, right click, New Design Modular Geometry. I'll go to XY, look at, I'll choose the unit system as meter. I'll go to Sketching, Line. I'll go to dimensions and give it some dimension now. Say the dimension of the beam that is the length is 5 meter. Now we need to give it a cross section although it is a 1D body. First I'll go to concept lines from sketches. I'll select the sketch apply generate. So now you can see this is line body over here. I'll give the cross section, concept, cross section. You can choose any cross section you want. I am choosing a rectangle. Now, when you are solving a beam for simply supported beam for deformation, you don't have to consider the width and the height as important. They are negligible because we are seeing the effect of deflection on the beam and not any other effect on the beam. So, shear and all is not very important. So, we can choose any value of width and height. So, let me say it is 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. Next, I'll go to line body. The cross section to be chosen is rectangular. Now, you can see only the line over here. So, what I'll do is I'll go to view cross section solids. You can see over here the rectangular body can be seen. So this is my simple geometry. Next I will go to model and double click on it. You can see geometry, it is a line body. Next, I'll go to mesh, sizing. I'll change course to fine, update. Now you can see the 3D body, but whenever you click on the geometry, it is always going to be a line body. Now I want to see the vertices, so I'll click over here, show vertices. I can see the two vertex. Next, I'll go to analysis settings. Both the ends I'll show as fixed and I'm going to apply some load on the beam because it is simply supported beam with UDL. So, I'll go to point. The first point, I'll insert fixed. On the other end of the beam, also I will insert fixed support. Now, on this surface, so I'll choose edge and I'll click on this edge. Right click, insert, force, I'll change vector to component, in the z direction I'm going to apply the load because this is how the beam is. So in the z direction I will apply the load say of 300 Newton in the downward direction. This becomes my condition of simply supported beam. I'll go to solution, right click. Insert deformation directional. I want to see the z direction deformation. Again, I'll go to solution, insert, and I want to see the force reaction. So, I want to see the force reaction on the fixed support on this end and on the other end. So, I'll, I have already selected one force reaction. I will choose another force reaction. 
that is at the second fixed end. I will go to solution, solve. So this is the directional deformation. I can animate and see the deformation on the beam. Here I can see the value of deformation at the points that are shown here. This is the force reaction at the first fixed end. The value is 150 and for the second one again in the upward direction I can see the force reaction is 150 because the UDL applied is 300 so obviously it will be 150 at the two fixed ends and it will be in the upward direction because the UDL is applied in the downward direction. If I want to see the beam tool result for the stresses that also I can see here. This will show the direct stress on the beam and this is showing the minimum combined stresses and these are the maximum combined stresses on the beam. So this is how we can solve for simply supported beam with UDL for 1D beam analysis. See you in the next session. Thank you.